Now I'm just going to join a roof into an upper story portion of the house. So we need to find where the roof joins and we can get Archicad to do that automatically. So first of all I'm going to click on the roof tool and put a roof over the bottom story. We can see we're on story zero. I'm going to click on the automatic roof tool. Hold the space bar down. Wait till the icon changes into a magic wand with a polygon around it. And then while I'm holding the space bar down I just left mouse click on it. This palette comes up and then I'm going to change the pitch to 35 degrees pitching from 2400 high at 450 eaves and I push OK. Once the roof's there I need to split that because I don't want a roof over the upper story portion we can see the ghost story of the orange wall which is the ghost story of the upper story. While I'm on the roof tool go Control A or Apple A then I select the axe tool because I want to split the roof and as I come down to the floor plan we can see the ghost story there and the and the guideline coming up straight away and I'm going to drag across using the guide smart guides assistant left mouse click again click to the right hand side of that split line and then while it's still selected without pushing anything I'm going to push delete so we minimize the amount of clicks that we actually use now I'm going to go up a story Now it's important for this roof when I created it to have that on outlines only so we can actually see it on the upper story. Now I'm going to grab the roof, click on the automatic roof tool again, hold the space bar down, left mouse click while the space bar is on. This time I'm going to change it to 25 degrees just to make it a bit more difficult for Archicad, not for us. And then got a bit of variation push OK again. Once I push OK and I go to the 3D window we can see how the roof is not joining correctly at the moment and that's what we're going to fix. So if I just close that again. First of all I'm going to grab this roof plane by holding the shift key down left mouse clicking on it. While that roof is selected I go to the edge that I'm going to want to connect with the upper story Wait till there's a Mercedes cursor there and left mouse click on it and add the node. Now I don't have to click on it because it's already selected but I have anyway. So once that's done I click outside the building which deselects it. Once the roof is deselected I'm going to hold the shift key and select the upper story roof and then once that's selected then I hold the controller Apple key down, then I move to an area that is between where I placed that extra node and the ridge. Once I've found that point, I can make sure that the cursor is a Mercedes cursor again, hold down the controller Apple key and left mouse click on it, and then that will shoot that roof out and join up with the upper story roof. So once that's done, I'm just going to deselect it and do it to the other side also. Left mouse click, select it, add an extra node, and then deselect it, select the upper story roof, hold the apple key down, and left mouse click while the Mercedes cursor is there. And once I've done that, it shoots the roof up. But if I go to the 3D roof, we can see that it's joined perfectly. If I close that, to join a round roof into a flat roof, we use much the same technique as that we have used to this point. So first of all, I'm just going to move this roof down and zoom in a little bit. Click on the roof tool, select the barrel vaulted ceiling barrel vaulted roof sorry and quickly create a roof now I can actually have the barrel vault joining going over into the roof or have it not joining if it's if it is joining in between sometimes it can be a little bit difficult clicking on the end of each roof plane and if I prefer to leave it off the edge because if you have the roof pivot lines 
which by default are normally showing, they will protrude into the roof and you have to move each one individually later. So I'm just going to select this roof plane, holding shift key, left mouse click on it, then hold the control or apple key down, go to the Mercedes cursor over here and just click on each roof plane on the end and we can see if I go to the 3D window we see there we have our roof plane once again we have to adjust the underneath of that roof and I might just move that down to the edge as well I can actually do that in 3D probably find it a bit easier to do in 2D there and grab the other side and now I just need to grab this roof add an extra node there left mouse click on it add the node there add an extra node there there So now our roof is joined correctly again. So that's how you join a circular roof into a flat plane.